How's it going everybody? Elite Mobile Auto Electric here on another video. It, this is a 2011 Nissan Rogue. Customer's complaint was a misfire after the shop did the cylinder head. Uh, they can't determine whether if it's compression or if it's the um, coil or spark plug or fuel relator or injector. So the customer wants to make sure that it's something that it has nothing to do with the, the, the shop's fault. So here we are. I, this is a quick video, by the way. Um, I, I took out the, the uh, Pico scope to be able to find what cylinder is misfiring since this, uh, this truck does not give me any data input on, the, uh, on a misfire of PIDs. So right here, I am on two milliseconds per division. It's uh, three to 10 kilowatts or yeah. Uh, and then we are at repeat. Um, we're running right now. So the right now our trigger's just waiting. Um, so we're gonna start off with cylinder one. And that is cylinder one. Okay, and then we're gonna go to cylinder two. Just place the wand on top of the coil. And then we have cylinder two there. And then we're gonna go to cylinder three. And then finally cylinder four. Okay, now I wanna point out one of the things. Uh, I'm gonna leave my wand on cylinder two for a quick reference on, on what I wanna explain to you. So the computer sends out a, uh, a uh, the control wire to the ignition coil. This is what the coil will activate, or the yeah. The, once the, the the signal is sent out, then it's going to drop the the current and then power and release it. Once it releases it, then it strikes, and then this is the burn time that the spark plug is actually uh, firing at. Now, we do see that there's a lot of distortion here. Um, this coil is currently not firing how it should. Um, we do see the burn time and then obviously the, I don't know what it's called, but to me, I just say like uh, once it shuts off, it just goes back to, the, to its normal voltage until it strikes again. But we are definitely seeing that the this coil is having a very hard time trying to maintain a good spark. So um, I will show you the cylinder one again. Remove it, put it on cylinder one and show you the difference. You see the difference? And then now on cylinder two and back to one. So at this point, we want to remove that coil, um, see if it has any obvious uh, damage, cracks, or anything uh, from the top of the coil, um, a broken boot, or anything. Um, but I did diagnose this car already, um, and I wanted to take time and, and do this little quick video to show you how is it that we do a proper diagnostic. Now, this coil, does not seem cracked at all. Um, it's in good condition. Okay. And then the wire. And then if we look up here, we're able to see like carbon, not carbon buildup, but yeah, I would say, but the spark has been exiting through here into the, the cylinder head block or cylinder head where it grounds out that signal. Now, if the spark is not going through the spark plug how it should, and the spark is, is coming out through here, then this will create a misfire. In this case, what we need to do is change the, the coil boots um, with some new ones. Obviously, we know that this is not okay, um, and we would have to replace it. Um, as you can tell, it's very it, it seems that it's been burnt pretty bad um but this is exactly what's causing the misfire now some people do put electrical tape which i know it's not conductive i'm i mean it, it'll burn through it quick you know it's not something to fix it 
replace a part, I would probably say if, if the misfire is bad and like emergency situations, then you would. Um, and to prove an example of that, here, let me show you. Um, let's see here. I didn't want to do this, but um, just for testing purposes. Um, so we are going to wrap this. Let me set this here. Um, we're going to wrap it. A scenario that this is a emergency um, but I just want to show you of course we're gonna order this um, from the we're gonna order it from AutoZone um, I'm gonna put it back in there and let's fire it right up and see what it uh, what it shows um, if we still get the same waveform, we know that obviously it's a, an issue there. Um, now, I don't feel it that it's misfiring. Nope, it, it doesn't feel that it's misfiring. So we're going to do the test again. This is cylinder one. Okay. Cylinder two. And what do you know? <laughs> it has significantly uh, improved. Cylinder three, and finally cylinder four. Let me find it. There you go. Cylinder four. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's cylinder four. Okay. Cylinder three. Cylinder two. Cylinder one, and there you have it. We have a bad uh, wire set here, so we're gonna have to replace all wires, and it should be good to go. But this is one of the tests that I wanted to show you using the Pico wand to check oil long plugs. Um, and you know, it's it's very neat where you don't have to be unplugging every single coil to find your misfire if. Say for example, you do not have the a PID data that tells you on the misfiring or if the misfiring is intermittent. Um, by you shutting off the injector for that cylinder, it's, it, I mean, it, it's very, most likely you're gonna have troubles finding, uh, finding out whether that cylinder is truly misfiring because it's intermittent. Now with the Pico, obviously it's more, uh, faster diagnostic uh probably the, the fastest uh the most maybe time consuming is just setting it up but other than that i mean cars running good idling perfect we just got to change that wire set i thought i'd make this video short video for you guys um with using the pico scope um for this type of diagnostics this seems a good help you know i hope it helps somebody um you know, man. Thank you for watching.